Welcome to Explore the Way. In this video, I am going to explain how to write VHDL code for T flip flop. T flip flop, which is also called toggle flip flop, that means its output toggles at every positive or negative clock edge. Let us see the symbol for T flip flop. T flip flop has T input, clock signal. This arrow indicates that it operates at the positive edge of clock. Suppose here an inverting bubble is there, that means that operates at negative edge of clock. And it has asynchronous clear input and it has two outputs Q, Q bar. This is the T flip flop. And let us see the behavior of T flip flop. When clear input is enabled, its output is cleared. That means Q will be 0. And when clear is not enabled, at the positive edge of clock, if T is 0, T flip flop remains in previous state. If T is 1, the T flip flop toggles. That means its output will be the complement of the previous state. Now, we will summarize this behavior. The behavior of any logic circuit can be described by using truth table. It has clear clock T Q Here, when Clear is 1 irrespective of the clock and T inputs. Its output will be 0. When the clear input is 0, then at the positive edge of clock, if T is 0, output remains in the previous state. And if T is 1, its output will be not of Q or complement of Q. You can write Q bar also. This state is called clear. That means it clears the flip flop. And this state is called there is no change or previous state. And this is called toggle. This is the behavior of T flip flop. Now let us write the VHDL code for this T flip flop. So first part is library IEEE. We are using IEEE library and use standard logic package from IEEE library. We can write it like this. And the next part is entity. Now write the entity name as T flip flop T underscore F F T flip flop is Now write the ports. What are the ports now? In the symbol T clock clear. These three are the inputs. Q, Q bar are outputs. Now, T, clock, here write clear also. Clear, T, clock. These three are the inputs. So, the mode in of type standard logic. And the outputs are Q, Q bar. You can use both the outputs Q, Q bar or simply you can use only Q. Out. Here I am writing Q only. So for the last, last one, close bracket and put semicolon. End the entity. End. Write the entity name. 
T flip flop. Now write the architecture. Architecture. We are implementing this architecture in behavioral style. So write the same of T F F is begin. So the fundamental building block in behavioral style is process statement. So you should describe the behavior within the process statement. So write process. You need to write the sensitivity list. That means for which inputs the output will change. T clock clear. Here we can declare one temporary signal. Signal. and the name is temp standard logic now let us write the behavior begin the process now check the true table when clear is 1 output will be 0 that means it clears the flip flop now we will write the same if clear is equal to 1 then temp is assigned 0 that's the first one next if clear is 0 at the positive edge of clock based on t output will be assigned so next else if else if means clear is 0 when clear is 0 at the positive edge of clock to represent positive edge of we can describe positive edge of clock like this clock tick event and clock equal to 1 now we need to check t value so if t is equal to 1 what is the output t is equal to 1 then output is assigned not of not of q so not of temp else that means when t is equal to 0 else temp is equal to is assigned temp no change that means no change now end this if statement end this if statement this if statement okay next earlier we already opened one more if statement you can close that if statement also then end the process statement also after the process statement is ended the temporary value in the signal is assigned to actual output q is assigned temp now you can end the architecture also this is the vhdl code for T flip flop. If these videos are useful, please like, share, and comment. And don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell icon.